Good morning, everyone. Today's vlog. By the way, I'm John, your friend in tech. I'm a software engineer living in San Francisco, and I like to create these day in the life videos to share my knowledge and to share my experience and show what it's really like to be a software engineer. So I've been getting a lot of comments asking me to be more detailed. So this is that video. I'm leaning into that feedback. And then something I'm really excited about today is the Made by Google event where they're gonna be announcing a whole lot of new products. I'm really looking forward to see what they're gonna be announcing for the Pixel Watch. I am pretty sure I'm gonna pre-order it, but I'm on the fence, so TBD on that. It's happening right now, and I am tempted to watch but I have a lot of stuff to do today. Okay, so this is the first check-in. It's 9 a.m. This is when I start my work day. I'm gonna do my usual routine, which is check my emails, only the important ones, check my calendar, see what meetings I have, and then go over my notes from yesterday to see where I left off. I have two meetings today, and one is 11.30 right before lunch, and then my last meeting is at 4 p.m., so near the end of the day. I did see that the pre-orders are open for the Pixel Watch and I'm still on the fence. I haven't even read like all the details about it, but I'm thinking since it starts shipping next week, I'll just pre-order it now and then I can do all my research and then cancel it if I end up not liking it. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get the polished silver. I don't really like the gray band, but I also don't really like the white band. I feel like I wouldn't really wear it. Probably get like a leather band or something. Damn, the leather bands are like $80. <laughs> So I think I need to watch some videos and see what it looks like on people's wrists. All right, I'm officially distracted. I'm just gonna order it and be done. Also, it's already 9.40. Time went by so fast and I feel like I just wasted my morning. Okay, so it's only been 20 minutes since my last update. I had to step away from the screen and stretch for a bit to help me focus and get my mind back into work mode. So for the next hour and a half, I'm just going to be coding. I'm currently working on a pretty big code refactor, which is where I take existing code and make it better. So I have a bunch of changes that I need to redesign and re-implement because when I wrote the code the first time, the focus was on just getting something working. So I didn't care about the code quality, but again, the code wasn't designed to be great in the first place. So now I'm gonna take what I learned and make the code a lot better and implement it properly. So I talked about how I implemented something the first time and it wasn't really great code. And now I'm doing it the second time, but now I'm doing it properly. So you might be wondering why didn't I just write it properly the first time? And that's a great question. The answer is because it would have taken too long. And now you might be wondering, okay, isn't it taking even longer? Because instead of implementing it right the first time, you're implementing it twice. And that is another great question. The answer is yes, that's true. But to take a step back, the reason why I wrote the code like kind of in a quick hacky way the first time was that so I can get what I was working on into people's hands and so that they can give me feedback on what's working and what isn't working. So this is a pretty common approach when you're building software or products and it's called a minimum viable product or MVP. So you don't want to build something with a ton of features like a ton of really great features that you think people will use because what if you release it and no one needs those features? You basically wasted a ton of time and resources whereas with an MVP you get feedback really quickly on what features that people actually want and what features they don't really care about and then you could spend your time and resources wisely. Amazon is a great example of an MVP because they started out as an online marketplace just for books and now Amazon sells literally everything. You can buy this Devoom D2 Bluetooth speaker desktop thing. You can literally buy anything on Amazon and it really just started out as an online bookstore and they saw what worked and they expanded it to a whole bunch of different products. So I just ended my meeting with the junior engineer on my team who needed help with their bug. So they messaged me on chat yesterday and they were like, hey, do you remember why you wrote this line of code and this line of code was like three years ago? So of course I didn't remember. Um, I don't even remember what I wrote yesterday. Um, <laughs> just kidding. So we set up this meeting for today so that I could walk through that part of the code base and kind of explain how and why things are the way they are and how things work. So yeah, I think it was really helpful for them and it was a really good refresher for me. I've been doing a lot of knowledge sharing lately, basically just sharing what I know with the new members on the team. And there's been a lot of new members on the team. It's like time is flying by so quickly. It feels like just yesterday that this person just joined the team, but they've actually been here for a few months already. And that's just like wild to me. I like can't comprehend it. <laughs> One of 
the questions I get a lot is how am I so productive? And I've got some good news. Clean My Mac X is an app that I use to beat procrastination. You're probably wondering how. I know that when I have a lot of things to do, it's easy to get overwhelmed and want to slack a little bit. So I found this out. You should start with something small and easy to kickstart your productivity. Instead of procrastinating, I start with something quick and easy like cleaning my MacBook. Doing these small tasks really helps to structure my thoughts and clear the slate for the next task. I use Clean My Mac X to delete the junk and organize my folders and downloads so that my digital workspace is tidy and free of clutter. By doing easy things first, I'm able to gain momentum and this makes it really easy to keep going and to continue working on the rest of my tasks. Download the free version of Clean My Mac X. It's a great organizer app for Mac. Thank you to Clean My Mac X for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get something to eat. Okay, so I'm going through my emails right now. Just uh, finished lunch and just easing back into work. So emails is a really easy thing to do. There's a lot of cool events happening at work this month. And if you didn't know, October is Filipino American History Month. And if you want to support a Filipino American in your life, go ahead and hit the like button on this video because I am Filipino. I actually do get a lot of questions and comments of people asking which ethnicity I am. So if you guessed Filipino, congrats, you're right. In my last day in the life video, I talked about how I received a peer bonus from one of my coworkers and that really inspired me to send out my own peer bonuses. So I sent one out to one of the designers on the team who has always been willing to help me with anything design related and making sure that I have everything I need to implement the design. And then I'm gonna submit another one to an engineer that's on a different team from mine who has worked on something very similar to what I'm working on now. And so I went to them for guidance and they've been super helpful. All of their background and experience was really, really relevant and it made it a lot easier for me to implement my project. So yeah, I wanted to send them a peer bonus to thank them for all of their help and guidance and to also acknowledge how much time they've saved me. My advice for you is if there's someone that has been super helpful in helping you with your day-to-day -day tasks, I encourage you to say thank you to them. I'm sure they'd really appreciate it. Okay, so honestly, I've just been coding. One thing that has been really helpful in refactoring is seeing a diagram of how the code currently works. And it's funny because I remember in college how I used to hate doing UML diagrams in my software engineering courses because it just felt like a waste of time. And I realized looking back now that the reason why I thought it was so pointless is because the projects that we were doing in class is pretty straightforward, pretty small, not that complex. But now that I'm working with much larger code bases, I really do value having these kind of UML diagrams. So what I learned is that UML diagrams are really helpful especially for larger code bases where there's so many different classes and so many different ways that these classes interact with each other so yeah if you're in college and you're learning uml diagrams it is useful <laughs> Okay, so 3 p.m. check-in. I am running out of things to say about coding because a lot of coding is repetitive. But let me know in the comments if there's something specific about coding that you would like me to talk about. I'm happy to share what I do know. But I do want to share one thing with you and that is what came in the mail today because I've been waiting for this package for a long time and it's finally here. In my apartment, there's nothing on the walls and that's because I don't have any art. A company called x Art sent me an art piece that I'm really excited to display. They specialized in taking apart electronics and repurposing them into to art pieces that look really nice. So they have a ton of different electronics to choose from. You can choose from iPhones, Androids, to game consoles, or they can also send you a DIY kit so you can make it yourself. If they had a Pixel phone, I definitely would have chosen that option, but I went for nostalgia this time around. I gotta say, the packaging is really nice. So this isn't what I ordered, but I think it's just a protector for the screen. Let's see if we can read this code. If succeeded, it goes false. Sad, stop, code, and try again. So if you don't succeed, stop being sad, code, and try again. Interesting life motto. <laughs> Let's do a reveal. Let me just hide it for now. Now I can safely peel this off. Oh. Are you ready for the big reveal? Okay, you've seen it before I did, so I'm excited to see it. Oh wow, yeah, this is cool. I'm a big fan of Pokemon, so this frame is perfect for me. It reminds me of my childhood and also college. If you want one, I'll put a link to it in the description of my video. And with the holidays coming up, I think it'd be a really awesome gift.
So technically it's 4.45 right now. I couldn't check in at four because my meeting started at four. One of the things that I really like about my current project is that I'm working really closely with the user experience research team. And I mentioned them in my last vlog, but basically I'm learning a lot about like user studies, research, the data analysis, data science side of things. And it reminds me of when I took a human computer interaction course in college, which is like how humans interact with computers. And I think the idea is like so fascinating, but just the way my college taught the course, it really wasn't that interesting. Whereas with my current project, I'm actually like doing the stuff. So it's really interesting and really cool just to see like this side of the software slash product development cycle. So just to summarize, I had a project, I delivered it to this team and I just planned on walking through it and showing them how it works and how to use it. But as I've learned more about like what their work looks like, I realized that I can make it a lot easier for them if I just make a couple of tweaks to the project that I delivered. From this meeting, I have a lot more work that I want to do just because I know I can do it really quickly and it will save a lot of their time in the future. So I'm just going to work on it. And this means I'm going to be working a lot later than I thought I would work tonight. And just to clarify, I don't have to work late tonight. And as you know, I do really value work-life balance. And so I'm just being very intentional with my time here. I'm going to work late tonight, but that just means that tomorrow I'm going to end earlier. So I think that's okay when you make these kind of trade-offs. Uh, hopefully that all makes sense. I'm like so tired right now. Coding and like just working, having meetings is super draining for me. So I'm usually not that coherent at the end of the day. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to work late tonight to finish up this project tomorrow which is Friday I'm going to stop working earlier so there's that work-life balance flexibility that I enjoy in situations like this it's like really nice to have flexibility in your schedule okay I'm gonna check in when I'm done all right so it's gonna be the final check-in it is 6 30 right now and I finally finished everything got my code up for review I found somebody to review it really quickly I just looked to see who had the green bubble in chat <laughs> and luckily they were uh, available to review the code so got it submitted and it's going to be kicking off a new build soon so it's going to be ready for the user experience research team tomorrow but yeah i'm exhausted i need a nap or something <laughs>